Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my July favorite. So these are going to be all the things that I've been loving throughout the whole entire month of July. So if you'd like to see what I've been loving, then stay tuned. Alright, so first off, there's a whole lot of stuff. All the stuff in this video isn't necessarily all of the stuff that I recently picked up in my haul. I think I've just been having a whole lot of favorites lately. So the first thing I want to say, because I just got this in the other day, and I'm not going to go through all the shadows, but this Z palette I just picked up. Look how gorgeous this is. I got it off the Makeup Geek website. I got some of their full shadows, and I'll do another video on this. But look how cute the designs are of this Z palette. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And here's a uh, better shot of the back of it. It's like a really fun color. That's one thing I've been loving. I think I want to get some more colored D palettes because I really, really like that. Then, I know I told you guys on my haul video I would be talking to you about this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe MB5 brush. Oh my gosh. I love it. So what I've been doing, another favorite this month, I've been combining these two. This Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light bronzer it's really really pretty it doesn't look like it would even like show up on your skin but here's what it looks like it's just so natural and it's got this really pretty like glitter shimmery effect to it but it's really really great for every day so what I've been doing is I've been using this brush with the hourglass bronzer oh my gosh they're like a match made in heaven the thing is is like on a day-to-day -day basis I'm not like full contour and fake lashes or anything like that normally I'm just very plain and simple going to work every day what I've been liking to do is just take this and just put on bronzer and instead of giving you like a harsh contour line it still gives you like a really natural bronze look to your face and it's really really easy I don't know how to describe this brush other than it applies bronzer beautifully like I won't ever use another brush for bronzer than this because it's just like wherever I bronze it is just like hmm that looks pretty good so the Morphe MB5 brush definitely a favorite and it'll probably be a favorite for a while so okay the next thing and I hope that I haven't mentioned any of these before but the next thing I want to talk about is the MAC mineralized charged water face and body lotion it comes in a little container like this it is already like down to here and I've only had it a couple weeks. This was a repurchase for me. So I really, really like this as my daytime moisturizer. I really like the First Aid Beauty one, but I had ran out of it and I picked this one back up. But it is really, really moisturizing and I really like it for just my morning moisturizer before I put my makeup on. So the MAC Mineralized Charge Water. Another thing which you guys know that I could not talk about in my July favorites like this has to be my number one favorite is the Becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop so it looks like the same packaging that the Becca's come in here's what it looks like in the pan it is so pretty like I wish that they would make this permanent they need to because it looks good as light as you are as dark as you are it would look good on every single skin tone like it doesn't matter if I'm not wearing any makeup or if I'm like wearing a full face of makeup this highlighter looks good either way and here's what it looks like it's just so beautiful it's not too dark it's not too shimmery it's just perfection if you haven't got this it is a limited edition item so I would go pick up one or two <laughs> <laughs> because I promise you that if you don't get this and it sells out, you will regret not purchasing it. It is amazing. It will probably be my forever favorite highlighter. And that is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Becca Cosmetic Skin Perfector. Another thing that I have been loving this month is the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. So it comes in a little package like this. And you can see I've kind of been 
digging into it. <laughs> but this eyeliner is the blackest black eyeliner that you will ever use. Like, it doesn't matter if you just put on a little bit or you put on a lot. As soon as you lay your brush down on your face with the eyeliner, it is pitch dark. Now, one thing that I have noticed with this is it does dry out my brush. So, like, what I like to do is I will take my eyeliner brush every day and I'll clean it with just, like, a quick makeup brush cleaner and then no problems whatsoever. Okay, another thing is this month I have been picking back up my MAC Pro Longwear concealer. I had been running through this concealer that was in my favorites last month and I had bought a mixture of the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear. I've been actually mixing NW20 and NW25 to get like a perfect summer shade underneath my eyes and you know it's summertime and this is really long wearing. So that is the MAC Pro Longwear concealer. Whew, I'm getting through these a little faster than I thought. I talked about this in my summer essentials, but I've been loving the Makeup Forever HD powder. I've been using it every day, uh, sometimes underneath my eyes, but really just to set my T-zones. And what I do a lot of times is because I have two jobs, so some days I will come home and I'll just have like an hour break and I'll wear the same makeup to my night job. I will just dust this on my face if I look a little bit oily and it will get me back to matte and then it doesn't like discolor your face because it's a translucent powder. That is the Makeup Forever HD powder. Okay, the next thing that we are going to talk about is what I just recently hauled, but I had had it for a couple weeks before I hauled it and so I have actually been wearing it every day. It is the Urban Decay blush in video and here's what it looks like. Well, if I can get you open. Okay, here's what it looks like. So it's a really beautiful, just tan color. What I've been doing recently this month, just because I have been trying out some new stuff for you guys, I've been rocking a lot of really dark shadows, like trying to do smoky eyes with the Naked palette. Um, I've been trying out the Avanti NYX palette, so that way I can create like a really dark smoky eye for you guys, because that's what a lot of you said that you'd like to see. So I have been loving this because it doesn't really matter what you have on your eyes. This blush is going to go with absolutely everything, and that is the Urban Decay 8 Hour Power Blush in the color Video. Okay, the next three things that I'm going to talk about are lip products. I don't know if it's because it's summertime, but I've just been all into lip products. So one thing that I've been loving is the Dose of Color Soft Touch. This is what their packaging looks like. It is so cute. You have the bottom where you can see what the color looks like, and then you have a really nice sleek white packaging. This is what the color looks like. It's just a really pretty pink peach color. Here's what it looks like swatched. So it's really nice for every day. And these lipsticks are really awesome. They're really smooth. They're pigmented, not like drying or anything like that. And they last a really long time too. So that's Soft Touch by Dose of Colors. Another really similar color. Y'all see that a lot of these colors are just really, really similar. Because I've been, like I said, rocking darker smoky eyes lately. This is ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color Westie. This, you know, same kind of thing. It's a really nice white sleek packaging. And these lipsticks are only $5. So this is in the color Westie and here's what it looks like. And I'll show it to you swatched. And then this is what it looks like swatched. It's a really, really nice pink color. Then the next one I actually posted on Instagram has been like my most favorite of the month. Y'all know I always rock Sore Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics, but I have been loving this color over it. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. Raquel by NARS. They're audacious lipsticks, and here's what it looks like. Of all these colors, I've just been loving lipsticks lately. But here's what it looks like. It's a really nice pink color. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is, in case you don't follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. I'll leave my stuff down below. I have posted a picture a lot of you guys already probably know about this, but it is a really great dupe. So this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the color Anna. Here's what it looks like. I wanted this lipstick for so long and I finally broke down and bought it a couple months ago at the Sephora sale. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys so you can see it. Okay, so there's the Anna lipstick. And ColourPop actually has a dupe that's $5. I mean, 
come on now, $5 for a dupe for that color. I mean, I love this color so much, especially like in the fall time. <sighs> It's beautiful. So this is the ColourPop lippy stick in the color Lumiere. It's actually one of the colors that Kathleen Lights created with him. She's a YouTuber. And look how similar this is. It is so similar. I mean, I know I probably gave this one a couple more swipes, but again, this one is $32, I believe. And then this one is $5. So if y'all like that color, definitely go check out ColourPop Cosmetics because they have really great dupes for a lot of really high-end lipsticks. So, two more things. I normally don't do this, but I wanted to go ahead and include them. Is two regrets I had for the month. Just because I think, you know, a lot of times YouTubers always talk about, you know, their regrets when they do empties videos. But if I buy something that I'm going to go ahead and take back which I plan on doing for both of these products. It's not going to be something I'm going to include in an empties because I don't want to keep it. And I typically don't like to return products. Probably keep one of them just because, but the other one, I really do not like it, so I will be taking it back. So I just wanted to include them for you guys because I would rather be honest with y'all and not recommend something that you're not going to like because then why are you going to want to watch my channel if I'm just recommending everything? So I was really excited to get this and I'm so upset that it didn't work. It is the Becca Cosmetics Shadow and Light Brow Contour Mousse. It comes in a really nice packaging. You can see it has two different sides. So I got the lightest one. So this is supposed to be like your brow gel and then this one's supposed to be like a highlight shade. And I was so excited to try this because I had heard like it was really awesome. It makes your brows look super natural, but I do not like the consistency. Like I tried to wear it to work and the minute that I put it on my brows, I had to go get a makeup remover because I just did not like it. So that's one thing I didn't really like. The other thing is, and it's not that I don't like the product, but I don't like the packaging. It is Just Release Me Eye Makeup Remover by Purity. And the thing is, is it just has like a screw top and it's like completely open right here. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I can be really clumsy and I end up wasting more product with this because I'm just trying to dump it out and take off my eye makeup remover rather than having one that has like a, a little circle in the middle where you can just kind of shake it out. So those are two things that I really didn't like. Y'all let me know if you want me to start including regrets product. Is that something that you would like me to keep doing? If not, then I'm not going to do it anymore, but I just wanted to try it out this time and y'all let me know what you think. And then the very last favorite of the month of July is you guys. I just want to thank y'all so much. I posted my first ever giveaway. It's two videos below if you haven't already seen it. Y'all have left me the sweetest comments. I mean, every time that I open my email, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder if anybody else entered. And I'll just scroll through and like look at what y'all said. I've been trying to reply back to everybody, but I just want to let y'all know that y'all mean so much to me. I want to thank y'all for helping me grow and supporting me. And uh, yeah, so y'all are my last favorite. But anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave down below what your favorites are. If you like favorites, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.